Hey, welcome to On Cue with Chef Brian. I am Chef Brian, where we talk everything barbecue, and I'm so glad to have you along for the ride. Let's get started. First, I want to talk about uh, something that's uh, been on everybody's mind lately, it seems. I've been getting a lot of letters and emails about dry rub, and uh, people are wondering, what's going on with the dry rub? What's, what's, why isn't it working? What's, what's, what's not working? And I say, okay, let me, let me do a quick show on that and explain to you. First of all, remember this, less is more, okay? And really, all you need is two basic ingredients. I'm going to put up a quick recipe here for you so you can see, but I'm going to talk to it as well. Basically, the two main ingredients are sugar and salt, and you want 50% of each, okay? Uh, equal parts, rather, of each, all right? So, you know, one cup of sugar, one cup of kosher salt, and then anything else you want to add, okay? Uh, uh, Old Bay seasoning, black pepper, garlic, thyme, oregano, whatever, dry mustard, that's completely up to you and that's just a bonus because the two main ingredients you need are sugar and salt equal parts because what happens when that hits your meat is the chemical reaction starts and it starts to break down the tissue of your meats whether it's chicken lamb pork beef it doesn't matter you put that onto your smoker or if you're gonna bake it whatever it is you're going to have a nice tender piece of meat so remember equal parts sugar kosher salt everything else that you want to add to it go for it get creative and you'll have a nice outcome on a nice piece of meat there's a great dry rub start now go for it now moving on uh, I've got to talk about this is a great story there was a guy uh, he was a sergeant in the army and he was stationed over in Afghanistan and they started this barbecue contest every Friday and um, I don't know what they were going to win, but this guy in particular wanted to win this contest every Friday. So he emailed all of these barbecue supply places in the United States from Afghanistan to help him out, send him supplies. He needed, you know, all kinds of stuff. And this one company out of Michigan sent him a bunch of stuff. And at the bottom of the uh, email, it said, please remember me. My name is uh, Chief and uh, you know uh, here's your stuff so the sergeant received all the stuff and he decided when on that Friday when he presented his uh, barbecue pit and, and all of his meats he, he, he called his particular uh, barbecue uh, little pit he called it Chief's Barbecue and uh, come to find out he gets deployed uh, several months later and he went back to his hometown of Mississippi and guess what he did he opened up an actual barbecue. It was called Chief's Barbecue. It's open today, and I wish him the best of luck. And thanks again for all your service. What a great story. Finally, one of my favorite segments of the show. It's called You Have Been Cued Up. This is where I find people out there doing things maybe they shouldn't be doing or just crazy stuff happening all in the name of barbecue. Let's start off with the polar bears. You say you can't uh, barbecue in the wintertime. Well, tell these guys that. <laughs> Check this picture out. How about that, huh? Look at them just chilling out in the snow. Got their rotisserie going on. I think that is absolutely hilarious. And then moving on, how about this guy? I think this was taken somewhere over in Asia. Here's a fireman. The building is on fire, dude. Are you kidding me? He doesn't care. He is getting his cue on. Look, when you got to eat, you got to eat, you know? Oh, that is too funny. And finally, if you are having a family picnic and you decide to set up tent next to the water, be careful. You never know when a boat may go awry and oops, there goes dinner. Ha, <laughs> too, too funny. Well, those have all been queued up. If you've got a picture or story you want to send me, please do. Uh, just send it over. Uh, and uh, you can get me on uh, Facebook. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'd like to see and hear from you. So again, my name is Chef Brian. That's our show for today. Also, check out our website, htbbqsaucemix.com. We'll see you next time. You've been queued up.